Hi everyone, this is Vidya Shri, Maths Faculty in Talapadmavati International School. Today, let us see exercise 2.4 of chapter 2 of class 8. So, in that, the first problem is, Amina thinks of a number and subtracts 5 by 2 from it. She multiplies the result by 8. The result now obtained is 3 times the same number. She thought of. What is the number? So here, things of a number, that is nothing but you need to assume a number. So for that, you need to take, let the number be x, nothing but x minus 5 by 2. And what she did? She multiplies the result by 8. So after getting this, she multiplied with 8. Now, what she got the result? She got the result that is she obtained 3 times the same number. That is the same number what we took. We took here x. So, 3 times of the number that is 3x. Now, multiply now multiply 8 to x and 5 by 2. So, this becomes 8x minus 5 by 2 into 8 is equals to 3x. So, see here children 8x minus 2 ones 2 Four. So, 5 fourths are 20. That is equals to 3x. Now, send this 3x to the other side and this constant that is minus 20 to the other side. That is 8x minus 3x is equals to 20. That is equals to 5x is equals to 20. x is equal to 20 divided by 5. So, 5 ones are 5 fourths are. Now, what is your number children? Your number is 4. So, x is equals to Four. Now, to know whether your answer is correct or not, substitute x is equal to 4 in the given equation. If LHS and RHS is equal, then your answer is correct. Next, second problem is a positive number is 5 times the other number. If 21 is added to the both the numbers, then one of the new number becomes the twice of the other new number. What are the numbers? So, see here children, let the number be x. Let the number be x. Then next what? The other number what it becomes? It becomes 5x. That is 5 times the other number. Then, then another number is 5x. Now condition comes. If 21 is added to the both the numbers. Now this is one number and this is one number. Now add 21 to both the numbers. That is 21, 21. Now what happens is then one of the new number becomes the twice of the other new number. So that is nothing but if 5x plus 21 is a number then it becomes the twice of the other number that is 2 of x plus 21. So, now the question is what are the numbers? So, see here children. Now, multiply 2 to x and also 21. So, 2x plus 21 into 2 is 42. That is equals to 5x plus 21. Now, transpose 5x to this side. 42 to that side. That is 2x minus 5x is equals to 21 minus 42. So, see here children, 2x minus 5x is minus 3x and that is equal to 21 minus 42 is nothing but minus 21. So, minus minus get cancelled. Now, 3x is equal to 21. x is equal to 21 divided by 3. So, 3 ones are 3 sevens are. Now, see here children, what are the numbers? So, if one number, now one number is what? X here. So, the numbers are X and 5X. So, the number is what, Nana, here? Here, X means 7 and 5X is nothing but 5 into 7. So, 7 and 35. Now, at last you can write the numbers are 7 and 35. Third question is, sum of the digits of a two-digit number 
is 9. When we interchange the digits, it is found that the resulting new numbers is greater than the original number by 27. What is the two digit number? So see here children, you need to take a two digit number. Suppose uh, like example number 32. So 32 in the expanded form, how can we write? We can write it as 30 plus 2. Why? Because 2 is in 1's place or units digit and 3 is in 10's place. So we have written 30 plus 2. It became 32. So in the same way, we are going to take uh, a two digit number that is let let the two digit number b x y so x y is a two digit number this can be written as what 10 x plus y okay children now he gave the condition that sum of the digits that means sum of the digits what are the digits here x and y so sum of the two digit number is 9 so sum of the two digit number is 9 that means x plus y is equals to 9 yes sum the two digits are x and y. So, sum are nothing but x plus y is equals to 9. Now, next condition is when we interchange the digits. Now, the digits what happened? The digits became y, x. Okay. So, when we interchange, when we interchange the digits, that is, it becomes y x okay children now y x how can we write y x y x can be written as yes 10 y plus x okay the number is 10 y plus x now see here the condition is again when we interchange the digits it is found that the resulting new number is greater than the original number by 27. That means, see here, what is the number? The number is 10y plus x. So, after interchanging, we got 10y plus x. That will be equals to the greater than the original number by 27. So, what is the original number? The original number is 10x plus y and it will be greater than by how much? 27. So, see here children, now we got 10y plus x is equals to 10x plus y plus 27. So now transpose 10x and y to this side. So 10y plus x minus 10x and minus y is equals to 27. So see here 10y minus y that is nothing but 9y plus x minus 10x that is minus 9x that is equals to 27. Now, as you have seen here, you have 9, here you have 9, here you have 27. So, you can divide the total equation by 9. So, divide the equation or divide the equation by 9. So, see here children, when you divide what you will be getting? 9x 9y minus 9x by 9 is equals to 27 by 9. So here 9 and these 9s get cancelled. So the remaining is y minus x is equals to 9 ones are 9 threes are. Here you will be getting 3. So see here children. Here you got y minus x is equals to 3. Let this equation be 2. And already which we have seen that is sum of the digits without interchanging that will be equals to 9. So this will be 1. Now add 1 and 2 that is equations 1 and 2. x plus y is equals to 9 and minus x plus y is equals to 3. So here if you see y minus x is equals to 3 that can also be written as minus x plus y is equals to 3. So now you solve it. x and minus x get cancelled. So here y plus y is 2y is equals to 9 plus 3 is 12. So now you got 2y is equals to 12. 
So from this y is equals to 12 divided by 2. So 2 ones, 2, 6. So now we have got y as 6. Now substitute. Substitute y is equals to 6 in equation 1 or 2. Let us take 1. Okay. x plus y is equals to 9. That can be written as x plus y already you know it is 6 that is equals to 9 so this can be written as x is equals to now transpose plus 6 to the side so 9 minus 6 then you get x is equals to 3 now you got x is 3 and y is equals to 6 now what are the digits so the two digit two digit number is x y xy is nothing but what nana xy that is x is 3 and y is 6 and when you interchange what it becomes yx that is nothing but 63 next let us see the fifth problem take fourth problem as homework shobu's mother's present age is 6 times shobu's present age Shobu's age 5 years from now will be one third of his mother's present age. What are their present ages? So here children we are going to compare the Shobu's mother's age and Shobu's age. So let us take that now. Let Shobu's present age is x that is x years okay now shobu's mother's age what happens shobu's mother's age will be six times shobu's age that is nothing but six into x that is nothing but six x okay now what she is saying they are saying that shobu's age five years from now 5 years from now is nothing but adding plus 5 to the given ages. So, Shobu's age, Shobu's age, 5 years from now will be 1 third of his mother's present age so see here children observe very carefully shobu's age five years from now actually what is present age present age is five so from now five years means x plus five will be equals to one third of his mother's present age one third is nothing but one by three what is present age of her mo his mother that is six x so one by three into six x now three ones three twos so now, x plus 5 is equals to 2x. Now, see here children, transpose 2x to this side and 5 to that side. So, x minus 2x and plus 5n goes to the other side, it becomes minus 5. So, x minus 2x is minus x, that is equals to minus 5. So, minus minus get cancelled, now x is equals to 5. Now, what is the present age of Shobu's? Yes, yeah, Shobu's age is 5 years. So, Shobu's present age is equals to x that is equals to 5 years. Now Shobu's mother's present age is equals to what? 6x that is nothing but 6 into 5 that is equals to 30 years. Now, Shobu's age is 5 years. Shobu's mother's age is 30 years. So, next let us see the sixth problem. That is, there is a narrow rectangular plot reserved for a school in a Mahuli village. The length and the breadth of the plot are in the ratio 11 is to 4. At the rate of rupees 100 per meter, it will be cost the village panchayat rupees 75,000 to fence the plot. What are the dimensions of the plot? Now see here children, they did not give the length and breadth directly. They have given in the ratio. So we can write, let the 
length and breadth of the plot B plot B 5x and 4x respectively. So see here children as they have given the ratio as 11 is to 4 as length and breadth. We have written length as 11x and breadth as 4x. Now see here fencing they used a word fence. Fence is nothing but what the border one that is nothing but the perimeter. So how to find the perimeter here to find the perimeter they have given the total cost of the plot and also the cost of per meter okay then you can find the perimeter easily so perimeter of the plot is equals to total cost of the plot total cost of the plot divided by cost of the plot per meter per meter now see your total cost of the plot is how much yes it is 75000 by rupees 100. So see here children, rupees, rupees get cancelled. 0, 0 get cancelled. And here your perimeter is 750. So now let us see the perimeter. What is the perimeter of a rectangular field? Yes, it is 2 of L plus B. Now already you know the perimeter. That is how much? That is 750 meters. That is equals to 2 of length is how much? 11x plus breadth is how much? 4x. So you will be getting you will be getting 750 is equals to 2 into 11x that is 22x plus 2 into 4x that is 8x. So 750 is equals to 22x plus 8x is nothing but 30x. So see here children. Now write x is equals to 750 by 30. So see here children. G 0 0 get cancelled. 3 1s are. 3 2s are 6 and 1 will be remain here. So 3 5s are 15. Now x is equals to 25. So, they asked what are the dimensions of the plot. That is nothing but the length of the plot. Length of the plot is how much children? They have given 11x. That is nothing but 11 into 25. So, if you do 11 into 25, you are going to get the answer. So, let us see that now. 25 into 11. So, 1 5s and 1 2s plus again the same. So, you are going to get the answer as 275. So, the length is 275 meters. Next, you need to find breadth of the plot. So, breadth of the plot is how much? That is 4x. That is nothing but 4 into 25. That is 100 meters. Next, seventh problem is Hassan buys two kinds of cloth materials for school uniforms. Shirt material that cost him rupees 50 per meter and trouser material that cost him rupees 90 per meter. For every 3 meters of shirt material, he buys 2 meters of trouser material. He sells the materials at 12% and 10% profit respectively. His total sale is rupees 36,600. How much trouser material did he buy? So this is the question children. Now what happens? Hassan is going to buy two kinds of cloth materials for uniform. So that is just shirt material and trouser material. So shirt material costs rupees 50 per meter and the trouser material costs rupees 90 per meter. So see here for every 3 meters of the shirt material he need to buy how much? Yes he need to buy 2 meters of trouser material and they are going to sell it for 12% of profit on shirt and 10% profit on trouser. So the total, the shopkeeper has sold 36,600 rupees of the total material. Now the question is, how much trouser material did he buy? 
So see here children, first the shirt material is 3x. Let the shirt material they have by this 3x. Let the shirt material be 3x and trouser material be 2x. So see here they have given the cost price. So cost price of shirt material is equals to rupees 50. So how many meters we have assumed? We have assumed 3x meters. So per meter it is how much? Rupees 50. So totally it is rupees 150x. Next. Cost price of trouser material. So cost price of trouser material. So how much we have to? We have 2x into per meter it is how much? 90. So the total is 180x. So see here children, this is just the cost price. Actually what they have given, they have given the selling price and they are going to sell it for rupees uh, at 12% profit and 10% profit on trouser. This is on shirt material, this is on trouser material. So let us see the selling price. So selling price, selling price of Shirt material. So see here children. You need to take actual price. The cost price plus profit. So let us see that cost price plus profit. So what is the cost price of shirt? Already we know that is rupees 150x. Plus now what is the profit? Yeah. How much profit? 12% of profit. That is uh, like 12 by 100 into 150 so 0 0 get cancelled 5 3 is a 5 2 is a 2 1 is 2 6 so 150x is the cost price so see here 150x plus how much profit 6 3 is a 18 that is 18x rupees so see here children, total it is 168 X rupees. Next, selling price, selling price of trouser material. This is also the same cost price plus profit, cost price plus profit. So what is the cost price of the trouser material? That is rupees 180 X plus what is the profit? So 10% profit they are going to take that is 10 by 100 into rupees 180x. So see here children 0 0 get cancelled and here 0 0 get cancelled. So it is rupees 180x plus rupees 18x. That total is rupees 198x. Now see here children as we have seen in the question. That is total cost, that is total of shirt material and total uh, trouser material. They have sold it for rupees 36,600. That is selling price of shirt and total trousers is equals to rupees 36,600. So now both, both are what? Rupees 168x for shirt material plus rupees 190x for trouser material. The total cost they have sold is 36,600. So see here children, now add these two. You are going to get 168 plus 198. So 8 plus 8 is 16. 9 plus 1 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. So here you have 3. So total rupees 366x is equals to rupees 36,600. So rupees rupees get cancelled. Now x is equals to 36,000 
hundreds are. Now see here children, how much shirt material they have bought, how much trouser material they have bought. So now see here, as we have seen that the shirt material be 3x, that means shirt material is equals to 3x, that is 3 into 100 is 300 meters and next trouser material is 2x. That is 2 into 100. So actually they have asked only as the trouser material. So how much he has buy? They buy 200 meters of trouser material. Next let us see the 8th question. Half of a herd of deer are grazing in the field and 3 fourths of the remaining are playing nearby. The rest 9 are drinking water from the pond. Find the number of deers in the herd. So see here children. Actually you know how many deers are there. So let us think that number of. Let the number of deers. That is let the total number of deers is x. So see here children. Half of herd of deers are grazing. That means. Half of x that is nothing but x by 2. So number of days grazing in the field is equals to half of x is nothing but half of total days that is nothing but x by 2. And next three fourths of the remaining. So already half of the days are grazing remaining half in that half again 3 by fourths that is see here. 3 by 4 of the remaining are playing. That means total is remaining are 3 by 2 in that 3 by 4. So let us see that is 3x by 8. That means 3x by 8 deeds are playing. Next the rest 9 are drinking. So, number of days drinking water, drinking water is equals to 9. Now, see here children, you need to find the number of total number of days. So, as you all know that total number of days are x. So, that will be equals to the days number of days grazing and number of days playing and the number of days drinking water. So see here now x is equals to. So if you see this LCM is over here is 8. So here you will be getting 4x. Here 3x. And here 9 8s are 72. So see here children this 8 goes to the other side. Then it becomes 8x. That is equals to 4x plus 3x is 7x plus 72. Now transpose 7x to the other side. So, you will be getting 8x minus 7x is equals to 72. x is equals to 72. This is nothing but the total number of deeds in the herd. So, total number of deeds in the herd is equals to 72. Next, let us see the ninth problem. That is, a grandfather is 10 times older than his granddaughter. He is also 54 years older than her. Find their present ages. So, here we are going to compare grandfather's age and also granddaughter's age. So, let us see the solution. So, actually we don't know the granddaughter's age. Now, let us take... Let the grand daughter's age be x. Then grandfather's age will be grandfather's age is equals to 10 times 10 times older than his granddaughter that is. 10 times x is nothing but 10x. And also he said that he is also 54 years older than 
her. So see here actually they said that the age of grandfather is 10x and he also compared they also compared his age with the granddaughter that is 54 years older than her. Her age is what x plus 54 then if you add 54 to the granddaughter's age that will be equals to grandfather's age actually grandfather's age is 10x and he is also 54 years older than her that is x plus 54 now send this x to that side so 10x minus x is equals to 54 now 10x minus x is 9x is equals to 54 x is equals to 54 divided by 9 9 ones are 9 6 are so 6 is equals to 6 now granddaughter's age so see here children, granddaughter's age is nothing but already we took that it as x. That is nothing but 6 years. Now grandfather's age. Grandfather's age is equals to 10 into x. That is nothing but 10 into 6. That is equals to 60 years. Next, you have 10th problem. Take 10th problem as homework. By this, we have completed this exercise. Thank you. This is Vidyashree from Talapadmavati International School.